All right, back with the whiteboard. And this time I'm inspired to talk about some of the learnings I had from Shop Talk and how I think about approaching events in order to make events work for me. And when I say work for me, it's like, how do you get the most value possible out of events? So I think the way I think about this is in the framework of how do you get the baseline value? How do you get leveraged value? So baseline leverage and then upside. So how do you get surprise massive upside? So I think a lot of people think if you're gonna to go to an event, the thing you should do is schedule all of your meetings beforehand. But I only think this should be a fraction of your time. So I think about this as like, you know, let's call it 30% of my time. I know I'm going to have scheduled one to ones or meetings that I've organized beforehand because I know the other person is going to be in the same place as me. But that's just your baseline because these are people who are already agreeing to meet with you, meaning in some way, shape or form, there's already connection there. So you know what the value out of that meeting is going to be. And that's your baseline in terms of like, hey, I'm going to get a certain amount of value from this interaction. And so I'm excited to meet this person in person. The next one is what I would call like leveraged activities. And this to me is like the side events. So this is like things like dinners or um, like parties, suites, things like that. And the reason this is what I call leverage is because you can go into groups of people and then within that group of let's just say like five people, you can quickly figure out who are the one or two people from whom you are like learning the most or it's like the most interesting conversation. And then you can continue to follow up with them and you're like meeting many people at the same time. Now, the thing that we did as like a team is we added leverage on top of that. So we had multiple people go to any given event. And then of course, we would interact with different groups of people there, right? So not with just the people we knew and not with each other, but with different groups of people in order to drive additional leverage on top of the group of people who are already there. And this, I think, is like a way, and this is, again, probably like 30% of your time. And now for me personally, you know, I like to think about things, <laughs> as you might have like heard me talk about before, in terms of how do I maximize upside? How do I maximize the likelihood that something truly amazing happens? And so I call this like time for serendipity. And so this time for me is things like walking the conference floor, allowing somebody who I just met to introduce me to somebody else. And so I just don't, I, this is like open time on my calendar, allowing somebody to introduce me to somebody else who they know, hanging out and meeting people who you've only ever met online and you happen to see in person, but it wasn't you know, one of your pre-scheduled meetings. And the serendipity, in my opinion, is where you can have real magic happen because that's where you're allowing the moment of like, hey, in this moment, I happen to meet this particular person and I'm not going to spend more time with them. And that is, you never know what the upside is going to be in that particular context. Whereas both of these are organized and, you know, one of them, you kind of like already know what you're going in for. And so anyway, that's my framing for how I think about events. That's how I did shop talk this year and it was incredible. I would recommend thinking about it and I hope you found it useful. All right, I'll see you guys at the next one.